Welcome back to Chapter 4, Section 4, Fermentation. By the end of this section, you will be able to discuss the fundamental difference between anaerobic cellular respiration and fermentation, describe the types of fermentation that readily occur in animal cells and the conditions that initiate that fermentation. In aerobic respiration, the final electron acceptor is an oxygen molecule, O2. If aerobic respiration occurs, then ATP will be produced using the energy of the high energy electrons carried by NADH or FADH2 to the electron transport chain. If aerobic respiration does not occur, NADH must be reoxidized to NAD plus for reuse as an electron carrier for glycolysis to continue. How is this done? Some living systems use an organic molecule as the final electron acceptor. Processes that use an organic molecule to regenerate NAD plus from NADH are collectively referred to as fermentation. In contrast, some living systems use an inorganic molecule, other than oxygen, as a final electron acceptor to regenerate NAD plus. Both methods are anaerobic do not require oxygen. To achieve NAD plus regeneration and enable organisms to convert energy for their use in the absence of oxygen. Lactic acid fermentation. The fermentation method used by animals and some bacteria like those in yogurt is lactic acid fermentation as depicted here. This occurs routinely in mammalian red blood cells and in skeletal muscle that has insufficient oxygen supply to allow aerobic respiration to continue. That is, in muscles used to the point of fatigue. In muscles, lactic acid produced by fermentation must be removed by the blood circulation and brought to the liver for further metabolism. The chemical reaction of lactic acid Fermentation is the following. Pyruvic acid plus NADH interconverts to lactic acid and NAD+. The enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is lactate dehydrogenase. The reaction can proceed in either direction, but the left to right reaction is inhibited by acidic conditions. The, this lactic acid buildup causes muscle stiffness and fatigue. Once the lactic acid has been removed from the muscle and is circulated to the liver, it can be converted back to pyruvic acid and further catabolized for energy. Trimetol, a metabolic poison found in white snake root plant, prevents the metabolism of lactate. When cows eat this plant, trimetol is concentrated in the milk. Humans who consume the milk become ill. Symptoms of this disease which include vomiting, abdominal pain, and tremors become worse after exercise. Why do you think that is the case? Alcohol fermentation. Another familiar fermentation process is alcohol fermentation, which produces ethanol and alcohol. The alcohol fermentation reaction is the following. In the first reaction, a carboxyl group is removed from pyruvic acid releasing carbon dioxide as a gas. The loss of carbon dioxide reduces the molecule by one carbon atom, making acetaldehyde. The second reaction removes an electron from NADH, forming NAD+, and producing ethanol from the acetaldehyde, which accepts the electron. The fermentation of pyruvic acid by yeast produces the ethanol found in alcoholic beverages. If the carbon dioxide produced by the reaction is not vented from the fermentation chamber, for example in beer and sparkling wines, it remains dissolved in the medium until the pressure is released. Ethanol above 12% is toxic to yeast, so natural levels of alcohol in wine occur at a maximum of 12%. In order to achieve alcohol concentrations above 12%, you must use distillation. Now these are bottles of the last beer that I brewed, which has been a while now. This was about a 6% ale. And that carbonation process in which the CO2 pressure builds up 
is desirable when you want to have a beer that's not flat. Now you don't do your primary fermentation in a vessel that can't be vented because that could result in a very large mess if the vessel breaks. Anaerobic cellular respiration. Certain prokaryotes, including some species of bacteria and archaea, use anaerobic respiration. For example, the group of archaea called methanogens reduces carbon dioxide to methane to oxidize NADH. These microorganisms are found in soil and in the digestive tract of ruminants, such as cows and sheep. Similarly, sulfate-reducing bacteria and archaea, most of which are anaerobic, reduce sulfate to hydrogen sulfide to regenerate NAD plus from NADH. Other fermentation methods occur in bacteria. Many prokaryotes are facultatively anaerobic. This means that they can switch between aerobic respiration and fermentation depending on the availability of oxygen. Certain prokaryotes like Clostridia bacteria are obligate anaerobes. You might recognize Clostridia from such genera as Clostridium perifringes, or Clostridium tetanus, or, or Clostridium botulinum. Certain prokaryotes, like Clostridia bacteria, are obligate anaerobes. Obligate anaerobes live and grow in the absence of molecular oxygen. Oxygen is a poison to these microorganisms and kills them upon exposure. Now, Clostridia are very good at forming spores that are resistant to oxygen, so they can tolerate an oxygen environment when they're not metabolically active. It should be noted that all forms of fermentation, except lactic acid fermentation, produce gas. The production of a particular type of gas is used as an indicator of the fermentation of specific carbohydrates, which plays a role in the laboratory identification of the bacteria. The various methods of fermentation are used by different organisms to ensure an adequate supply of NAD plus for the sixth step in glycolysis. Without these pathways, that step would not occur and no ATP would be harvested from the breakdown of glucose. And that brings us to the end of section four, fermentation. Join me next time for section five, connections to other metabolic pathways.